Are you kidding me? Yeah, it is interesting, Wise Monkey, how I brought art into this, that I decided to make my criticisms of you uh, during a conversation on art, huh? Interesting that, yeah, weird coincidence that. So you say it's a pretense because I'm protecting composers that it and you with your infinite perceptive nature you've determined there's just something not quite right about the guy that has a channel talking about his bipolar personality disorder how it's ruined his life he'll never have a normal life here's what I'm going through here's what I think of it you figured out there's just something not quite right huh and you want to object to that you know, you want to object to the cruel of audience or whatever. Well, that's fine. You, you can make a comment. I object to the cruel of an audience when you may be doing something I disapprove of. Go for it. I would like to inform you that uh, the same applies to you. I don't like your influence. I don't like the way you're going. I don't like your swarmy videos, which would be okay empty though they may be uh, except for they're backed up by a comment posting habit that's really noxious and uh, you might think that you could go over oh, to personality disorder means something not quite right oh you know what I mean hint, hint. Oh, I think we all know what we mean uh, you don't have to say it doesn't work that way you know what about tranquil and for that matter see inside her who you call the bitch also, she called composer an asshole. I criticized her too, but she reacted like a real person. And she said what she thought. She didn't really back down. She was more kind of like, well, that might be too much, but, you know, basically in the end, it's like just because he has a PD doesn't mean that he's not an asshole. I mean, in a way, she's just saying what she feels on the net too and treating him as, a, as an equal, in a sense. Did I freak out about that? Is it just about that, wise monkey? No, you don't back these things up. You say these little things, you throw these little wrenches, just enough to get someone's mind spinning and wasting their time trying to figure out what it is, what bothered him, what did I say that bothered this guy? It's manufactured. And I don't like that. And just like you want to say something against composer, have I stopped you? Can't you still say something? You just can't say it. Un, you know, interrupted. Oh well. Uh, and you're gonna th threaten me in some way? I mean, I don't really get that. I don't really get that gang of trolls that went through. And, and wh who are they? Why do they go through? Just like you, you attack composer and C insider, both sides of the argument. They did that. Why don't you say what you know about that, wise monkey? You're gonna threaten me, you're gonna come to Hawaii? I would suggest you not do that. Uh, but it would be an interesting story. Let me tell you, children, about the time a guy was so upset about being criticized on the internet, he flew halfway around the world to punch me in the nose. What happened, Grandpa? What happened? We'll find out. I mean, what? That would really show I was wrong about you being a little bit aggro and overactive, huh? Or what are you talking about then? Why are you wasting time threatening? See, that's what I don't like about those comments. They're sort of passive aggressive and somewhat over, in some cases, like tranquil threatening. They're harassing in tone. Well, you have the right to do that on the internet, huh? Yeah, and I have the right to go, wow, that's harassing in tone. I think you're a jerk. Okay, because I've had enough of it. And it doesn't matter what your theory is. <laughs> You're going to come back with, I should get off the internet for a little while. Because you say so. Are you kidding me? I mean, you've been watching my channel. Surely you don't have the impression that any of these things would work. I mean, it's as if you want to be a vehicle for these issues. And you want to be a poor representative for what the fine art representatives here stand for. Right? Petty little threats and really crazy, smiling, crazy mean looks. Um, all within your right. 
all within your writing. And I've watched your videos too. I only unsubscribed um, when you left YouTube. So, and I, you know, I watched your videos. I don't even mind the the, the nothingness of them. There's a cadence. I appreciate that. I mean, even I get bored of it myself. It's like, hey, it's there. It's it's, it's a thing. But I don't like you back this up with this little nasty little uh, comments that are, are not directed just to people that interact that way. Quite the opposite. They seem directed at people that don't interact that way, that you want to draw into that kind of interaction, while also at the same time in another medium taking the high ground, saying this to them and that to them and this to them. And I'm the high ground and then you bitch and twit and bitch. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hello, welcome to the internet. You put this online. We have to either ignore it or see it, or both. So, feedback time, you know? And you must, you must realize this is absolutely no way that your petty little bravado is going to have any impact on what I'm doing. I mean, you already show that you have received my message to you and that there's real life. You could just, this is. There's real life here. What's the, you know, you've got your future life to look forward to. I have my life to look forward to, my alleged family. What's, what, it, why are you even going in that direction? Why not just defend yourself? Why not just say, well, I called her that name, and yes, I don't always call all women that name, but here's why she pissed me off. Why not do that? Do you have anything to say for yourself? Okay, if, if not, I have a right to go you're not saying anything right like you said to me you're not saying anything but the difference being that I do elaborate I, I do elaborate dude. I don't believe you can't comprehend it either I think it's just your rhetorical style to go no, I don't know. well I don't except you can't What do you really want out of this if not a continued conversation and the attention? I mean, you're acting as though you want the attention. In other words, just go about your business. And when I see you uh, doing what I'm complaining about now again, I'll complain about it again. I mean, isn't that the way it works? And you'll be your snarky little self too, to who you think should have a wake-up call or whatever. It's a problem. Yeah. Um, don't really waste your time threatening me because, you know, I uh, had a real life, like all of us. I'm, I've been in threatening situations for real. I mean, it's just you're not going to rank. I assume, and if you try to actually be a real threatening situation, then obviously, I mean, not only am I correct, but it goes much further. So. How are you going to win that way? You're going to intimidate me off the internet for a few days to clear my head? You really, you really think that was going to happen? or What kind of rhetoric is that? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, you're cool and you provoke people that are being civil. I don't like that. Um, go provoke people that are provocative already. That's my advice. You you do as you like, and I will do as I like as well. Um, and if you have a point at all about any of these subjects that we've disagreed on, where you don't even say what your position is, then speak up, and I'm, we'll talk about that, and we'll forget about how you're empty and uh, opportunistic. Right?